Hey everyone, welcome to LearnAlgebraFaster.com. In today's video, we're going to discuss the definition of stem and leaf plot. Now, if you were to look in a textbook, you might see something like this. A stem and leaf plot is a way to graphically represent a data set by categorizing the data in which part of the number is shown on the left side of a graph called a stem, and the last digit is shown on the right side, and it's called a leaf. Now, that was a lot of words, but not a lot of meaning. So, here's a little better version. This is something maybe your teacher or professor might say. You take a long list of numbers, put them in order from smallest to largest, draw a vertical line, take all but the last digit from each number, and list them from top to bottom on the left, using each of them only once. These are the stems. Now take the last digits and put them on the right side of the line, in order, aligning them with the proper stems. These are the leaves. Once again, it's not very useful. Let's give it a shot. Our definition is, let's put the numbers in order, break off the last digit, call the left side the stem, and the right side the leaf, and then we put them on a graph. Here's an example. If we were to ask a bunch of adults how many minutes does it take you to drive to work, we might get answers like this. 8, 11, 27, 6, 12, 14, 22, 9, 10, 16, 9, 11, 9, and 21. Well, we've asked several people and we've gotten answers all over the place. So, just like our definition says, first we rearrange everything and put them in order. Now, once we have them in order, we group them. Now, on the left side, you see 6, 8, 9, 9, and 9. They don't have two digits, so we assume the stem is 0, because 0, 6 is the same as just 6. In the middle, we have everything listed from 10 to 19. They all share the stem of 1, because it's the digit on the left. And the last three, the stem is 2, because it's 21, 22, and 27. Now, now that we have the stems taken care of, let's look at the leaves. In the first set, we have leaves of 6, 8, 9, 9, and 9. Notice that 9 is rep represented three times, so we actually have to list it three times. And that way we, we know that three separate people answered it this way. We have three individual data points named 9. If we don't list them all, then people won't know that we have them. In the middle, we have leaves of 0, 1, 1, 2, 4, and 6. And in the third set, for the third stem, we have leaves of 1, 2, and 7. Now, this helps, but we're not finished yet. Here we go. This is a little better. If you noticed on, on the left, we have 0, 1, and 2, because those are our stems, and we put them in order. On the right side, we have each individual number listed by its, by its digit to the right. So, you see, we have stems of 0, 1, and 2, and we have all the leaves listed according to their stem. Now, if you notice down to the bottom right, we have a thing called a key. And this is very important, but it's something that is very frequently left off, and we don't want to fall into that trap. So we have a key that shows a stem of 2, and a leaf of 1 equals 21 minutes. So this tells us that each time we have a number on this stem and leaf plot, it represents minutes. And this is how we know that, they, that the answers are 21, not 2.1, not 201, or anything like that. So the key is very important. So we've listed two very poor definitions and I've actually shown you how to do this and how to how to form a stem and leaf plot so we'll go ahead and say that this is the best definition you can learn more by going to our site at learnalgebrafaster.com and up at the top right if you enter your name and email address you'll get our 10-day free video course and it's gonna cover a lot of important topics about algebra and we would love to see you there thanks